Uh, I'm really kicking myself because uh, not only was Michael Bublé in Sydney yesterday uh, as my favourite male artist, uh, Rihanna, my favourite female artist, was in Sydney as well. So let's have a look what she was up to. Welcome back. Now, last night, global superstar Rihanna made a surprise visit to Sydney to celebrate the one-year anniversary of her hugely successful makeup brand, Fenty. Which is her last name, as we found out this morning. Now, we sent our reporter, Britt Cohen, to catch up with her at her star-studded exclusive event. Shining bright and stealing the show. Riri hit Sydney Harbour to celebrate the incredible success of her Fenty Beauty collection. And it was quite the soiree. What makes a good party for you? Good music, good people. That's it. Literally anything can happen from there. And Aussies love to party. I remember that from tour. Years ago, of course, but I'm excited to be back here and to party with the Aussies and Sephora and Fenty Beauty and it's going to be great. We definitely did have a little bit more fun with our look tonight because it's a, a Rihanna event. Can we say this is a Rihanna-inspired outfit, Imogen? I think uh, lots of people say that to me, but I think we just got similar style. I'll give it to her tonight, yes. Over the past decade, Rihanna has dominated the music business with countless smash hits. <laughs> What is more nerve-wracking when you release a new song or a new product? I would say definitely music. Music because people have a lot of different tastes when it comes to music. With makeup, it's like women love makeup the same. We love anything. We like to play. You can throw any color at us. But with music, there's always this, like, it's very personal. Away from music, Rihanna has cemented her place as a global style icon, turning heads just about everywhere she goes. I think confidence is something that you, you kind of grow into. And I think as you get older, you don't think about things the same way. The superstar is forever changing up her look and shifting gears, starring in blockbusters like Valerian and more recently the all-female reboot of Ocean's 8. What's your real name? Eight Ball. But it's her foray into the beauty industry that's become Rihanna's passion project. This is my perspective of beauty. It was only right that I called it something personal and something from my perspective which is my name where did the love of makeup come from was it from your mom definitely my mom is the first woman that i watched put makeup on her face and it always was like the forbidden fruit like you're too young you're too young and then i would never forget the day she let me wear makeup for the first time it was for a school pageant and it was a wrap after that like i never fell out of love with makeup since that day I like to do the corner of my eyes because it gives you a little <sighs> zest. Since the launch of her makeup line just one year ago, Rihanna has sent a strong message to the beauty world, introducing 40 foundation shades to cater for all women. I didn't even realize how much of an issue it was until we actually launched our line. I think it's a shame that women of color had to wait this long, so I hope other brands are really paying attention and realize all women love makeup. Doesn't matter what skin tone you are. Yeah, it was really good. And uh, I was surprised too that uh, they don't have makeup in like uh, darker shades. So that was a bit of a surprise and you know, great marketing opportunity because uh, Africans are the fastest growing population in the world if you look at the birth rates in Africa. so. There we go. I hope you enjoyed that one. I'll see you next time.